Within this drill, we're working on players' ability to receive the ball on their back foot, to engage uh, a defender, take them on and set up opportunities. We're looking for players to uh, check their shoulder, create a bit of movement, a bit of diversion, uh, receive the ball on their back foot to play forward. It's important to work within these areas so that players can turn efficiently and effectively to set up uh, attacking opportunities for their teammates. Okay, this exercise, guys, is a mini rondo, okay? So it's just going to be 4v1. Okay, all I'm looking for is players on the outside. You can move within the yellow cones, move up and down. Unlimited touches. 30 seconds workout, okay? Guy in the middle, I'm expecting you to press to close down. Nice and sharp, try and win that ball. Play. Guy in the middle should be working. Good. Nice. Time. What well am So 3v1, I'm looking for you to cover all the ground. So if the man on the ball's there, he needs how many options? At least two options. So I'm expecting you to bust your gut to get here. All round, come round, come round, come round, come round to give him an option. If that ball then goes over there, I'm expecting you to bust the gut to get around there, okay? The guy in the middle again still, I'm expecting you to press and close down. Play. Guys on the outside, let's work. Support, always support. Should be at least two options all the time. Get your touch right, come on, play. Support him, support him, Monty. Great feet. Get there, Nick. Keep it simple. Keep the ball. Get around, get around, Nick. Good. And time. Relax. Well done. Working within these areas will improve uh, their performance in five aside so that they can set up uh, attacking opportunities for their, for their teammates and essentially maybe engage uh, a defender as well.